Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1994's Generation 2 Auto Roller Roadblock. I had to get a roadblock after being gifted his partner, G2 Dirtbag, and I really lucked out. I found a complete auto roller with all of his missiles, his bio card, and instructions for a really good price on eBay. So now, without further ado, let's check out this awesome G2 Transformer. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, as I said in the intro, I got this G2 Roadblock 100% complete. So he comes with everything you would get if you open this guy straight out of the packaging. So you'll see that he does come with a sheet of instructions and I love the old school instructions. I wish the new instructions were like these because, you know, not only do they show a picture of how it transforms, they tell you what to do. So that would have been really handy with my legacy roadblock figure. Also, you'll notice these instructions actually have the correct pictures on them. You got roadblock in robot mode and roadblock in vehicle mode, whereas partner Dirtbag had roadblocks robot mode and of course Dirtbag's vehicle mode. So you got that going on. He also comes with his bio card, not bio card. My God, I've been calling these bio cards for two reviews tech specs. So there's these tech specs right there. You can pause that if you want to take a look at it. He also comes with four missiles. Now what's really cool is Roadblock's missiles are the exact same as dirt bags. So if you need to complete one of these guys, you don't have to look for a specific set of missiles. He also comes with one of those pop-up tech specs that I had such a hard time with the other night for dirt bags, but how you do this, now that I know how to do it correctly, you're going to unfold this and pop out the top half of the artwork right there. Notice how smooth and flawless I did it this time. Then you're going to fold this into a rectangle, take this section, fold this up, and it's going to tuck right in behind this little flap right here. So there you go, there is how those pop-up tech specs are supposed to look. And I did correct dirt bags. So those are pretty cool. I mean, they don't stand up very good unless you smash them down for a while, but it's a pretty cool gimmick. Then, of course, you have Roadblock himself. And I love the looks of this vehicle. The sculpted detail is off the chain for such an old figure. I mean, look at the details right there in the, or for the hydraulics and the pistons for the shovel lift. <laughs> That's so cool. It's got the teeth there on the scoop. Look at the sculpted details on the wheels and the tires. Moving on up, lots of sculpted details here on top. You can even make out the diamond plating. He's got a orange translucent cab, big smokestack there on the back or exhaust pipe. Great detailing back here on the back as well. I mean, this guy just rocks the sculpted details. Now he's got a couple sticker details as well. 
He's got hazard striping on both sides of the bucket and hazard striping with tail lights there on the back. Now, as I kind of showed earlier, he does have this gimmick right here where he can lift the bucket up and down. It doesn't really go forward though. I mean, it's a really tight spring loaded. I guess it's spring loaded, but it, it won't move on its own. And another cool feature is you got roadblock rolling around. See underneath the scoop, you can lift this up and there's a saw blade underneath there. That is awesome. So he's coming up on some Autobots, surprise, and just cuts their ankles off. That is cool. I always like when my Decepticons are really, really vicious. Now we'll pull out the before mentioned missiles. There is storage for vehicle mode. The missiles peg in or peg on right here on the back. Just these little pegs. They don't secure very well. As you saw that one missile popped right off. So you can put all four missiles on roadblock like that, but I think they're just way too long. I mean, it's nice for storage, but for me, it doesn't really work. Now, just like his partner Dirtbag, he rolls along fairly good, but not as good as Dirtbag. Dirtbag just nice and smooth, but this little gimmick right here with the saw blade, he doesn't, you can't just push him along. Now, of course, he is an auto roller and that's where the gimmick comes in. You've got the switch here on the back. So if it's in this position, he can roll along fine, you know, cutting up shins, but you switch this tab or flip the tab back the other way, rolling forward and he transforms. Just like that. I love that. So there it is in reverse and there he goes forward. Now his transformation is a lot tighter than dirt bags here. Pop these missiles off. I'll show you how smooth his is once again. Flip the switch. I mean his, grabbed him by the wrong end. Always on camera. Let's see, find it up. There we go. I lied. He's not smooth at all. His little pinchy claw was sticking out. I forgot to fold the pinchy claw in when I transformed him. So yeah, his transformation is a lot smoother than Roadblock here. So to finish his transformation, you go ahead and flip the arms down. Very tight joints on this guy. And there you go. There is Roadblock in robot mode. Now I gave him the Decepticon insignia right there because as you can see, he is very plain in robot mode. No stickers, no paint applications other than the hazard stripes there on the side, but I do love the sculpted details. He's got an awesome head sculpt with some great light piping. Get the light right there behind him. That looks sick. Unlike Dirtbag, he doesn't have anything blocking his uh, translucent plastic there on the back of his head. More sculpted details all the way around. I love I love the attention to detail on this figure, especially the little, I guess they're rocket pods on the shoulders to give him a little bit more firepower. And speaking of firepower, you can take one of the missiles and load it right into his right hand. So he doesn't, doesn't really have a fist per se, unless that may be a molded in claw. But yeah, so let's see what the firepower is on this thing. My God, did you hear the impact? I love these old toys with the firepower that can put your eye out. That is so cool. And then on this arm, he has the buzz saw that we saw in vehicle mode. It's got a little switch right here. Move that and the buzz saw just can go to town. Articulation, pretty good for this guy. Arms can go up, they can go down, they can do a complete. 360, there is an elbow bend and elbow or a bicep rotation rather. The saw blade arm even has good articulation as well, all the same and it can rotate so you can kind of point the saw forward like so and then activate the gimmick. Now you can store the missiles in robot mode. I didn't show them off on dirt bag because missile storage in robot mode sucks. You'll have them attached right there at the bottom of his legs and 
I just, I don't think that looks good at all. So go ahead and put this missile back in. And now we have G2 Roadblock all armed and ready for battle. Now, before I wrap things up, let me show you how to transform Roadblock back to his vehicle mode. You want to get rid of the missile, fold the arms up just like so. Make sure the saw blade is facing out. Make sure your switch is flipped and then just roll him backwards. Everything locks into place and there you go. So these guys are just too much fun. I love these guys. They're just they're just sweet. They are a ton of fun and I would have absolutely loved these if I was a 10 year old back in 1994. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1994's Generation 2 Roadblock with Generation 2 Combat Hero Megatron, Generation 1 Roadblock, and his fellow G2 Auto Roller Dirtbag. 1994's Generation 2 Auto Roller Roadblock is another fun G2 toy that I had no prior knowledge of. I have so enjoyed these figures over the last couple of days. They are just fun to mess around with. They're durable, and I love that they're just chock full of gimmicks. So there you go, guys. 1994's Generation 2 Roadblock. So, does a 1994 Generation 2 Auto Roller Roadblock belong in your collection? Well, like Dirtbag, this figure is not a must-have but it is a very fun Transformers toy. I love this guy. The transforming gimmick with him rolling forward to robot mode, rolling back to vehicle mode is really cool. The high powered rocket launcher, the spinning saw blade, all the great sculpted details on the guy. Plus, I love the color scheme. They look like they could be Constructicons. And I think that's where I'm gonna put them back on my display, back with uh, Generation 1 Devastator. So yeah, if you see one of these guys, pick them up. You're going to have a ton of fun. And as I said, you can find them fairly cheap on eBay. And even if they're missing missiles, both of these figures have the exact same missile. So they're kind of easy to complete. And yeah, I just can't rave enough about these figures. These guys are awesome. Now, a little bit of history with this figure there was going to be a version of Roadblock released with a desert color scheme, and it was going to be Sergeant Hound. So we were going to get a Hound as a inloader. So, but that never came to be. But they did release him in Japan for the Beast Wars 2 toy line, and he was a super gaudy, bright green repaint named Auto Stinger. So... Yeah, I had that going on. So yeah, this is a pretty cool figure, and I love the guy. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!